Where's my pen? Uh, it's in your ear. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, Kip, so if I say the word scientist, what's the first thought that comes to your head? Ooh, I see this middle-aged man wearing this lab coat standing next to this really complicated apparatus with all sorts of flashing lights on it. And he's wearing these really thick glasses that don't quite fit right, and there's smoke everywhere, and these bubbling liquids, and, and he's got a pocket protector in the one pocket. And when he talks, he like spasms and jerks, like he's sliding in and out of reality. Yeah. Sort of a cross between uh, Dr. Frankenstein, the absent-minded professor, and Albert Einstein? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anything else? Uh, ooh, yeah, he's got like this really wild hair, like just crazy. It's <laughs> going everywhere. <laughs> Close. Let's Talk Science is an organization that's out to prove to people that science is fun, science is exciting, and we're out to raise science literacy. Our flagship program is the partnership program, and it really was a partnership between graduate students and teachers in the community. As volunteers, they're really there to work with the teacher and develop something that helps turn the kids on to science and get the teacher more informed. Words, okay? So, what are people called that do science? Can anybody tell me? Fun away, Excellent word. I've never heard that before. Excellent. Now, other grad students across the country started to do it, and now there's 14 universities and probably about a thousand volunteers across Canada who are doing this. And although we are a nonprofit, we're very passionate and committed about educating kids. Behind the scenes, you have to be able to run a, a sound business. In 1993, when Let's Talk Science as a, a formal entity was established, yeah, we needed to get some cash. <laughs> I actually remember the day that I had to go and do the, the ask, they call it in fundraising. It was pretty overwhelming. They took me into this boardroom. Uh, these people who were making the decision were sitting around the table. It was really intimidating, and I had this great speech worked out. I forgot it. As soon as I got up to talk to them, like just everything went right out the window. Now we get about a third of our revenues from corporations, about a, a little over a third from foundations, and the rest of the money we get from program fees from individuals who make donations. What does some, a scientist look like, do you think? You are going to be scientists, and you didn't bring your lab coats today, did you? No. No, exactly. 